Okay, welcome back. In today's episode, we are covering DTOs or data transfer objects. Put very simply, it's an object specifically used to send data over a network. So some of the advantages of DTOs include sending less data over the network, which could increase speeds. You can hide data, meaning you don't send data that could be sensitive. Hiding the implementation, so don't expose the internal structure of your database. Access control, same database data, so you can have the exact same database data and setup, but you send different responses depending on the user's role, for example, a paid membership versus a free tier. And there are other advantages of DTOs, but these are the main ones. In our specific example, we have a product class which maps to our database with ID, name, description, price, and quantity. But for our HTTP requests, we only want to send the name, description, and price. Okay, let's see how to do that. So as mentioned earlier, this is our product. It has ID, name, description, price, and quantity. So in the same folder as product, I'm going to create a new Java class. So file, new, Java class, product, DTO. I'm going to annotate it with the at data Lombok annotation, which automatically generates our getters and setters. It is going to have a private string name, a private string description, and a private double price. I'm going to generate a constructor. Right now, it's going to have nothing passed in because I want to pass in a product. So we pass in product, product. And then we use the fields in this product to generate our product DTO. So this dot name is equal to product dot get name. This dot description is equal to product dot get description. And lastly, this dot price is equal to product dot get price. So moving on to our product controller, we're going to do this. We're going to update our product to a product DTO on two endpoints, our two get mappings that return a list of products and a single product. So we're going to change this product to a product DTO. And then we need to update our query handler. Up here, we're going to change this from product to product DTO. We're going to change this from product to product DTO. And then we need to change our return. So we're going to do list of product DTO. Product DTOs is equal to product repository dot find all. This returns a list of products. We're then going to use the Java streams API dot stream. For each one, we're going to map a product to a product DTO. So product DTO new. And at the end, we're going to do to list. This iterated through our product repository, finding all of the products. We collected them to a product DTO and returned it or saved it to this product DTO. So then we are going to return response entity dot OK. We're going to pass in our DTOs. That should be sufficient for our first endpoint. Let's go ahead and run it and test it in Postman. So when I come over to Postman, when I ping this, I'm expecting the data to only include the three fields that we defined on our DTO as opposed to all of them. Let's see if that's true. 
there we are. We are only getting name, description, and price. We are no longer getting ID or quantity. Great. Okay, going back to our controller. This is your opportunity to try to see if you can get the get product by ID and get that to return a product DTO. So give it a try. And once you're done, come back here for the answer. So just like before, we'll do product DTO. Going into our query handler, we need to update product to product DTO. We need to update this to product DTO. This is going to stay the same because we're still getting a product from the database. But when we go to return it, that's when we'll do our DTO. So we'll say new product DTO. And we're going to pass in our product that we got from the database. Let's rerun our program. Going back to Postman, let's get product and send. And this time we only got name, description, and price, which is exactly what we expected. So that's all there is to know about DTOs. Of course, these can become much more complicated, but this is a great start.